in 2023, we were able to meet a lot of our targets. This administration is showing that local government has a critical role in the process of making Jamaica a developed country. We are a first world country when it comes on to providing for our poor and destitute in our infrastructure. We were able to officially open the St. James, Westmoreland and Portland New Wards and this was in collaboration with our partner, the National Housing Trust. We would have completed a therapeutic park in Hanover. We did major repairs at the St. Thomas inf um, Infirmary, their administrative building, as well as the Trelawney and the Veneer Town Golden Age Home. Additionally, we were able to open two night shelters in Trelawney and in Ocho Reyes. We also completed renovation of the Clarendon Night Shelter. For 2023, Poor Relief has had an impactful year. We were able to award 48 registered poor persons, children who were very successful in their PEP, CSEC, CAPE, and at the tertiary level. We gave out $2.7 million in scholarships. Our indigent program, since we started in 2016, has covered every parish in Jamaica except St. James. And we have been building houses such as this, giving hope to families, ensuring that there is a proper roof over their heads. And in 2023, we were able to hand over a number of houses across the island. In 2023, we were able to meet a lot of our targets as it relates to our infrastructure goals. This year, we're able to build and open three water shops. Uh, we did one in Commodore in Portland. Then we did Myersville in St. Elizabeth. And in Manchester, we built the largest water shop we have built to date in a community called Somerset. We were able to complete in 2023 roads in every parish. We successfully completed the phase one of the rehabilitation of Savlama Market in, in West Milan. We also successfully completed phase one of the Charles Garden Market in Montego Bay. And here in KCC, we completed the Jubilee Market Rehabilitation, the Rural Development Program, which has been one of the newest subjects under the ministry. And in fact, I would say it's, it probably is our flagship program at the moment. The importance of, of this program is to pay some attention to rural communities across the country. We started out in Chambers in, in Hanover. We also went into Cheswick in St. Thomas and Banks in Clarendon. In addition to the roads and building indigent houses, we were able to partner with JSIF and Rural Water Company to do extensive house wiring in these communities. 2023 was an exceptional year for the Youth Summer Employment Program. Over 4,000 young persons were engaged. Young people were engaged using technology, using technology to collect data, data on street lights, trade licensing, road mapping, among others. 2023 has been a great year for the Jamaica Fire Brigade we would have gotten support and was able to conduct rehabilitation work at the Ocho Reyes Fire Station, as well as complete phase one of two phases for the Anato Bay Fire Station. We would have completed the fencing of the Buff Bay Fire Station. Training was conducted over the period in 
fire safety inspections, emergency medical technicians, and we would have graduated 103 new recruits and added to our complement. Local government as a policy has significantly changed the lives of our people by improving, developing institutions of national resilience as well as national advancement. Our efforts have set the stage for doing more.